morning, Joe Walker here at Glen Echo. It's uh, Wednesday morning, May the 28th. We're here uh, first day using our Emmett's root pruner. Working really well. We're working the um, back up the left side of uh, 17. Skip's doing the honors today, the first operating. Working real well. Soil is uh, reasonably soft. Just to give you a little demonstration here of. Depth goes about 10, 10 inches. Cuts a line. As you can see, there's two lines. I'll catch up with Skip here and we'll pick up the unit. Hey, Skip, pick up the unit. I want to show the blades. Pick up the unit. I want to show the blades. You can put it down, down. Put it down and up and just keep it turning. There you go. It's got, it's got two plates on it. You can see that the speed is turned. distance away from the trees. You get too close, you get too big of roots. It'll cut up the four inch roots. If the roots are too large, it'll bounce it up in the air a little bit. But it's going to be a valuable tool for us. It's really going to help us in areas like to the left of number four green. That area sometimes I have to put double or triple the amount of water on it because of the, because of the amount of um, Tree roots in that area and the amount of uh, moisture deprivation that the uh, grass is under, the stress it's under. So we're here in a big red oak here, and he's a good eater, 10, 12 feet away. And we'll see if we get much bounce out of the tractor. You normally hear it when it starts cutting a root. Larger root, it'll make a pretty good noise. Otherwise, it just kind of starts rocking a little bit, a little bit more. But anyway, that's what's going on. Today, at Glen Echo, we'll be doing this for the next few days. We've got some nice salt ground going to some of our biggest tree line areas to try to give us some turf grass improvement. Great day.